Four more new faces were introduced by the PAP's vice chairman, Masagoso Kifli. They include two former civil servants, a lawyer and a banker. Mr. Masago says all of them share a spirit of lifelong learning and a common desire to help others. We want to give, and that's, that sense of giving, that sense of empathy, is something that we really owe to the values our parents, our teachers have given us, to always remind us that don't just be successful alone. Finally, I think what they also have, have done uh, in their lives is that they not only confine their work or, or their life to their work, their work and their, their uh, uh, experience show you that they also are very committed to what they can do with the community and for the community. You've been learning also Candidates in this lineup bring with them varied backgrounds and experiences. But Mr. Masagos says all of them demonstrate that a humble start does not limit what a person can achieve. Among them is 33 year old Henny So. A student from the normal academic stream, she studied law and is now a director at MSC Law Corporation. Teachers have never once told me that it's impossible for me to pursue my dream just because I was from a normal academic stream. And the only piece of advice they have given to me is that, in fact from my secondary school teacher, is that, Henny, if one day you become a lawyer, don't forget, you must remember to serve the lost, the least and the last. That actually became my ethos in life. Ms. So has been a grassroots volunteer in Bukit Panjang since 2011. She set up the first community legal clinic in the area in 2014. The mother of a 16-month-old daughter says she hopes to champion legal education within the community and sustainability. Next, 43-year-old Don Wee has humble roots and grew up in a rental flat. The senior vice president at United Overseas Bank has been in the banking sector for the past 22 years. He began his career with a diploma and went on to earn an accounting degree, various professional qualifications and two masters. The father of two teenagers says his experience in finance has given him insight into the challenges that local SMEs face and he hopes to help them. That's not all. Being a beneficiary of Singapore's meritocratic system, I'm passionate and empathetic towards helping the less privileged students. I have also been actively involved in community work for the last 16 years. I'm also serving with the Institute of Mental Health, the Office of Public Guardian, as well as a secondary school. Therefore, I'm particularly concerned with the mental health patients. Another potential candidate is Muhammad Fami. He is the director of the Administration and Research Unit for the National Trade Union Congress. The 48-year-old was the former deputy CEO of the Islamic Religious Council of Singapore and a former colonel with the Singapore Armed Forces. The father of four has steered an initiative to help the Malay Muslim community in Bedok Town. He also hopes to be a voice for low-wage workers, drawing from the experience of his parents. I want to actually create awareness for low-wage workers, for essential services uh, workers, for them to continue training, upskill themselves, learn new skills, and make a better living. So these are the things that I, it's very close to my heart. So in NTUC, I hope I become the conduit for my residents to learn new skills, understanding what are the trainings available out there, continue to upskill themselves, Finally, 43-year-old Yip Hon Wing is a former teacher and civil servant. He helped to set up the Municipal Services Office and helmed the Silver Generation Office, which reaches out to senior citizens about government schemes. Mr Yip says his focus is on improving care for the elderly in the community. He is also a father of five. Certainly, having a big family comes with a lot of sacrifices. But we really believe that the joys and rewards far outweigh the cost. And this is very similar to politics, because entering politics will come at a cost to my personal life. But I believe this is really the best opportunity to contribute, to make Singapore into a place where my children, and one day, their children can be proud of. And this is why I choose to serve. The next batch of candidates will be announced on Thursday morning.